Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody, my name is Ron and today we're going to be trying out something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking at an overclock without any mods on it and just seeing how good the base overclock is or if mods are kind of required to make them good. This was suggested by Labyrinth, one of the mods of this community, and I think that it's a really interesting idea because... We've never tried anything like this to just see how good the overclock is by itself. So for this first one, I'm going to be trying cycle overload on the Warthog auto shotgun. This gets you a higher rate of fire, greater damage, but increased spread and a longer reload. The reload isn't a big deal. I'll show you why in a little bit. And for a secondary, I figured I would pair this with just something that is good overall. So I'm taking this with pack rat on the grenade launcher. Again, no mods on it whatsoever. And this is just for more ammo. So my idea here is that the clean overclocks like these ones are generally just going to be nothing but a bonus and see if that can offset how the downsides of potential one of our overclocks are. I also have like all my other equipment set up normally too so this is more just to see how how much this kind of hurt us or help us how good it is by itself. I would like to set up turrets somewhere around here. Yeah, cycle overload does get us to enough damage to one shot these grunts, which is very useful. Because I think we do 64 damage if all of our pellets connect. Double that with a headshot, of course. It does feel kind of weird, though, because usually I have uh, automatic fire on cycle overload, since it really benefits from this high rate of fire. And without that, it's feeling kind of odd that you have to tap fire this each time. You can still tap fire this thing surprisingly fast. Check this out. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's see how. Can we take out a. That presser quickly. I bet we can, because cycle overload still lets us hit fairly hard. Oh wait, they killed Steve! I guess that makes sense, there was two Praetorians attacking him, and the suppressor would have been attacking him too. Dang, I already ran through all the shotgun shells that we got. And now all of the grenades as well. All right, well, Packrat's doing his job pretty well. Honestly, Cycle Overload is also doing its well. Or it's well. <laughs> it's doing its job well too. It's just I am really feeling that lack of range. And this isn't my normal setup. Well, I mean, it's no setup for it. I don't know if it's best to be playing around this or not with the back here. I honestly think it's okay. Mostly those tri jaws that I'm kind of worried about because I don't got the best range. Although if they are still, you know, this close, not a huge deal. Oh, I whoops. Say, I hope I got a guard Steve there. Oh, that counted as using my dash too. That sucks. Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to go. I didn't want to start repairing it. I kept getting hit by slashers. All right, I can use the pipelines to my advantage now, though. Call my sentry guns to you. Oh, whoops. Sorry, little loot bug. I did not want to dash there, but okay. Oh, that sentry gun technically didn't get loaded up. Oh, that's not good. That was a lot of stuff just in that tunnel. 
Oh wow, Steve was over here fighting all by himself. Good job, Steve. You did good, buddy. No, I just realized I almost <laughs> have like no more shotgun shells. Uh, also no more grenades really, so let's go back and get ourselves a resupply. Such. Steve is down. Oh, we lost another Steve. Oh, we can get another Steve. There we go. Okay, I think this is maybe this is the only break in this line. I don't think we're gonna get another break. No, we should not at like 80%. Unless they saved one for 99%, but I don't think so. Okay. Head back then. Grab another resupply on our way out as we call in the drop pod. And hope we have enough ammo, I guess. <laughs> Grenade launcher's still doing quite well. Even without mods, it does very well against crowds. Oh, crap. And shotgun is also holding its own. At least if I can get right up next to something. At range, cycle overload is struggling. Which, I mean, it does normally. Get up close to something. So this does quite well. I'm really curious how this is going to play out once we can start getting to the more questionable overclocks. Because I'm, I have a feeling some of them are going to be really rough. Uh, AI stability and like bullet hell are coming to mind. Where? Oh wait, what the heck? That's going to intercept our pipeline. Yep, destroyed our pipeline. Destroyed that loot bug. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here then. We did use all three downs for that mission, but we did manage to actually complete it, which is pretty nice. Bye, Menace. And we disturbed swarmers on our way out. That's weird. Mm, we got 438 kills. Dang. It's actually more than what I thought. It did take us a while to do that, but that was mostly setting up the pipelines because they were a ways away. I imagine if I'd been playing Driller, this wouldn't have been as difficult. But yeah, this one actually kind of worked out. We had Pack Rat as kind of a, uh, just a freebie there, which was essentially, what, do we have this? Yeah, we had our tier one or our tier two for the grenade launcher. Um, still, like, clean overclock. I, I think the cleans are generally going to be pretty good. We'll have to try it with some other ones, though, because there are some that will be interesting to see, like special powder or double barrel. I'm really surprised Cycle Overload did as well as it did. Uh, reload speed was not a huge nerf to it because you can reload cancel the Warthog and still have a pretty quick reload. Rate of fire felt nice. The damage felt nice. I would, if I could just pick one of these, I would either pick the ammo or I'd pick the uh, X rate of fire. The X rate of fire just feels natural on it, so I'd probably pick that one more often. If I wanted a quality of life one, though, the expanded ammo bags would be a better choice. Thanks for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts on Cycle Overload down in the comments below and what other overclocks you would like to see in this series, because I plan on doing quite a lot of them. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. I really do appreciate all the support. And if you'd like to see more Deep Rock videos, there should be a playlist right over here. Be sure to click on that. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.